Hello, Glendorans and Glendora businesses. This is Mayor Michael Alawis, and for the next few minutes, the president of the Glendora Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Joe Cena, and I will be hosting you through a myriad of questions and answers that we know that you have been aching to ask and have answered. So Joe, why don't we just jump right into it because uh, we know we only have a few seconds to grab everyone's attention before they decide to uh, keep watching us or go to one of those funny videos involving animals and people hurting themselves. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know that's the case. Uh, so Joe, uh, why don't you share with everyone uh, what services the Gondora Chamber has to offer? Well, uh, thank, thank you very much. Um, well, first off, on a normal day, uh, the Chamber is a membership-based organization that our mission is to promote, connect, and grow local businesses and our local economy. Uh, we also advocate for business, and we have a very robust marketing platform of multiple websites, social media sites, apps, and such to help promote our member uh, businesses and the community of Glendora. And you do it so well. Um, since uh, COVID-19 outbreak, has uh, the Glendora Chamber offered any additional services or resources? Oh, and how. <laughs> um, like all businesses should be doing right now, the Chamber's also pivoted a bit to uh, modify what we've been doing and also provide new programs and services um, to, in, in to adapt the way business is being done right, right now. Um, to kind of keep things going, even though we have the stay-at-home orders that we are currently living through. So what new approaches and opportunities have you started for the business community? Well, um, one thing, our normal networking opportunities, we've brought those back, but they're all virtual. They're through Zoom. Um, but we have a heavier emphasis on education and just information. Um, but one problem we are having, though, is, you know, Passing business cards, it's really hard to put them through the camera. I have a solution for you. Oh yeah? Yeah, here you go. Here, have, have some of my business cards. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. There's You're a welcome. glove on it too. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, that was pretty simple, problem solved. Geez, see, you, gotta, you talk to the mayor and everything is done. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you forget it. Um, uh, well, and um, another thing we've, we've done, uh, we started a new website, we have a, a sister site to our, our website, prideofthefoothillstrong.com, to where we've assembled a lot of information for businesses and, and residents um, that help navigate the ever-changing uh, SBA grant and loan process and availability, um, unemployment information, um, essential business definitions. I mean, that's been very confusing recently. Food services and a lot more. Uh, then finally, we also, which is different for chambers, we opened up all of our services to the entire business community. Uh, we still have member partners and we're still getting new ones, uh, which we feature them. But we've opened up our services to all the local businesses to really just help ease some of the pain people are going through, to be able to answer questions, and to really just be there for the entire community at this time. And then once this is over, things lift up a bit, uh, maybe some of those businesses be become a chamber par partner, so. And I'm so glad you're there for them. Yeah. I got a question for, for you, if I may. Sure. Um, I've been asked, is the city open for business? You know, are, are the city open? Are you still producing or processing business licenses? Um, permits and other ser services? That's a great question because everyone sees the signs on the doors that were closed. Uh, but yes, absolutely, even though City Hall facilities are closed to the public, uh, we are open for business. Uh, for business licenses, you can go to https colon backslash backslash glendora.hdlgov.com and you pay your annual fees for your business license or open up even a new one if you, if you choose to. Great, great. So uh, by the way, Joe, why did you name the uh, website Pride of the Foothill Strong? Well, um, as I'm sure you know, Glendora has been, since the early 1900s, Glendora has been known as the Pride of the Foot Foothills. And then also, we all know Glendora is a very strong tradition, strong community togetherness and heritage um, that made Pride of the Foothills strong. So my staff and I, 
Michelle that works with me kind of came up with the idea and we thought it fit. So we use proudthefoothillstrong.com or you can do hashtag or pound sign depending on what you call it. Um, Proud of the foothill strong. It's a great answer, Joe. Thank you. I got another question for, for you. Sure. Um, even though we have the stay at home um, you know, orders, because of that, people are home a lot and they have a lot more time to do things at, at home. Is our building department open? Another great question, Joe. Uh, for building permits, you can simply go to the city's website under I want to and take care of all of your city business needs, including uh, this, uh, plan review and building permits and a whole lot of other items that you can take care of on the city's website. We have a very robust uh, website that uh, answers all your questions and can process and take care of all your business needs. Great, great. So, uh, so Joe, um, what can businesses owners do right now, whether their business is impacted by the COVID-19 virus or not? Well, one thing, now I know people hate to hear this, especially with what's going on, but please be patient. I know I hate when people tell me that. Me too. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, because I mean, one reason is right now the rule books are being written as we go. Things are changing hour by hour. Um, our local state and county agencies are in a state of flux and they really don't always know what's going on. They're, they're, but they're working on it and it's just, things are changing so fast. Um, another thing a business owner could do is look at your business and pivot. I know I keep using that, that word, but it's just like the, for example, the uh, chamber posted something the other day where it's you're closed, but you're not at a business. So what, what, we, what I meant by that was depending on your product and, and service, even though your doors are closed, doesn't mean you can't have some in, income coming into your business. You know, there, there are things you can do. And if you need help with that, please call on us. There are Glendora businesses that can help, help you with that. Um, another thing is call on the chamber, call on the si city. Um, we may not have all, all the answers, but we can get them, um, or at least try. <laughs> because honestly, I've had some questions recently, and I'm sure you, you have and everyone else, that just there aren't any definite answers right, right now. Because, but, um, because of what's going on, but just know we're working on it. And then also call on your neighboring businesses. You know, they may have an idea. They just, you can work together. You know, they have something you can do to help your um, business. And then finally, think ahead. Because when the stay at home orders lift, businesses start opening up, it's gonna take all of us, including our residents, to work together to get the Glendor economy going again. And it's gonna take a long time and it's not gonna be easy. But I think since we are Pride of the Foothills strong, we can do it. So it's just gonna take us working together. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I got a question for you. This might be the $100,000 question of the day, but um, when do you think Glendora is gonna start phasing in opening up businesses? That is a $100,000 question. Uh, it's a very big question of the day. Uh, first, the city has no control over facilities and businesses when they can start to phase back into operations. Only the Los Angeles County Health Department uh, can give those orders. Uh, the city cannot. The city can only go stricter than what the county does, and I don't think we're in a position to do that as of yet. Uh, but our business and residents also have mixed feelings uh, about um, when we can or should we start back to business as usual. Uh, there's a lot of fear out there, and we just have to go through and work it out. As it is right now, we're under the stay-at-home order until May 15th, and uh, hopefully we'll get some more information before the end of the month. So, Joe, um, thank you so very much uh, for the, the Michael and Joe show we put on today. Uh, I hope that the thank folks you. out there watching us found this valuable, and they didn't go watch uh, those uh, dog videos or people hurting themselves. Um, uh, i just like to... Uh, <laughs> I just like to uh, to say that uh, I've always been a big fan of the Glendora Chamber of Commerce and hope that more businesses uh, will join to help keep this amazing organization strong so that the chamber can be there for our community, especially in times like this. Um, so, um, so have a great business day, everyone, and the chamber and the city are here for you. Thank you. Thank you, Joe.
Thanks.